Hello, Just Too Good here. It's been an insane weekend, but before I get into it, I gotta say viewer discretion is advised. We're gonna be talking about something very adult that appeared accidentally on children's toys. Again, adult content warning. You see, the Mattel Wicked Toys link to a porn site. <laughs> These are four plus toys and they link to a freaking porn site. It all started last week. Somebody posted on the Wicked subreddit, I am woman, hear me poor. And they were like, look, I bought one of these dolls and I think there was an accidental uh, wrong website posted on uh, this, this back of the box as well as in the instructions. So I was like, I gotta see this for myself. So I rushed over to Target, checked out a bunch of toys. My goal was to see, okay, did the Lego sets link to this porn site? Because that would be insane even on Lego's part. Lego was safe. You look at the bottom of the box, you look at the back of the box, they link to specific Lego websites tied to Wicked. I checked Betty Crocker, that was safe too. So it seemingly is only Mattel and Mattel's toys that put the wrong link to the wrong site there. I made a tweet about it. This tweet blew the heck up. I used my own pictures and everything and I'm like, Oh my gosh, this is getting shared around like crazy. I mean, you could see now there's over 270,000 likes on there. There's over 25 million views on the tweet. This thing went insane. A meme page are posting it. Articles are citing me. I'm just like, <laughs> I don't want to be tied to this incident. But even further, we got official statements from Mattel that they are recalling all of these dolls because of this whole mishap on the box. <laughs> I mean, this is hilarious. It's concerning. I mean, it, it's disturbing. It's funny because, well, I mean, come on, Mattel. How did you get this past your, you know, error checks and, and everything, quality control there, linking to a freaking porn site? Now, of course, the porn site's wicked.com, but they were supposed to put wickedmovie.com, which is the actual official website for the Wicked Movie. It's disturbing and concerning because these are kids' toys. Kids should not be going on sites like that. Thankfully, it's not like the old days where they're blatantly advertising sites tied into toys, where they'd say, ask your parents' permissions first to go on these websites, and they would advertise them in commercials and stuff. They're just slyly on the back of boxes or in instructions. So I don't think too many, if any, kids were linked to this site through this whole box mishap, but we never know, and I really hope there were none. I mean, some of these dolls feature underage characters, and to advertise that on the box, it's freaking disgusting, Mattel. Like, what, what were you doing, Mattel? You messed up big time. Sure, a human error, but stuff like this should not get through. So this whole recall and everything is probably going to make this doll go for a lot of money from collectors and stuff. But I, I want to keep it, just remembering this whole incident. If you remember, there was another incident with Wicked Toys, but from our land of Lego, where Universal was striking smaller Lego content creators, including Falcon Fan, because they posted pictures that were officially revealed of the Wicked sets from a retail website. And that really rubbed me the wrong way from Universal. The Lego still complied with that. And I was like, look, you're screwing over Lego fans. I'm boycotting the Lego Wicked sets. I plan on getting the figure secondhand, but I don't want to put my money towards something that's literally destroying other people in my community. I think Falcon Fan had to start a new, whole new account. Some other YouTube videos were striked and everything from that whole incident. So yeah, I did end up buying some Wicked toys, but they were not the Lego ones. And people were saying this is a whole conspiracy that they meant to put this on there. I'm like, no, this is definitely a mishap. Very disgusting and unfortunate mishap. Funny from an outsider perspective, but also concerning. So yeah, that's it. That's how I might've caused a recall. Of course, I am woman, hear me poor was the original discoverer of this. And she really wants you to know that. She was like, you didn't source me in the tweet. And I'm like, look, look, it's a tweet. I didn't use your pictures, I used my pictures, but uh, there you go, shouts out to that person. So let me know, what is the weirdest toy recall you've seen? Now, if you wanna hear about some Lego recalls, uh, I have done some with the top five illegal Lego sets video. 
but those were more for safety reasons than say linking to a lewd adult website. Subscribe here for more Lego content because that's what I mainly do at the end of the day, but I love controversial toys. I used to love Jeepers Media and I'll see you later. Peace out.